everybody this is Bonnie and I'm back with our final and fourth card of our July online workshop if you ordered this workshop from me thank you for supporting me and if you are wondering how to join my online workshop and you're new and catching this later on um, all the information will be in the description box below and if you will hit the little pink square over there in the right hand side and you will be notified when I have any up and coming videos coming up and that will subscribe to my channel and that helps me a lot also. So if you share, subscribe, comment, all that stuff is really good to support me. So this is the card that we're going to make today. And we decided to use the Quiet Meadow for our July online workshop. So this is the bundle that we are working with. All right. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get a little bag like this. You'll have your embellishments in there, mine or not, and all of your information will say card four and all your stuff will be in here and you just pull out card four. And that is so on for all of your other cards. You will also have pictures, a written tutorial, and all that to reference to besides the video. Okay, and... This is a standard card, and this is a eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. And I like to give it a good crease to make sure it's really nice and flat. Then we're going to grab out our other piece of Whisper White that is in this, and we're going to set this piece aside because now we're going to do some stamping. I'm going to bring in a scrap piece of paper. Just like this. I'm bringing in some basic gray ink and I'm just going to take the three little the dots that are in the stamp set and I am going to stamp this up. I'm going to stamp off the paper and then I'm just going to stamp on. So I'm going to stamp off and then I'm going to stamp on. I'm going to stamp off and then I'm just going to stamp on off um, and sometimes I'm just getting a little bit of it here and there it doesn't have to be the whole stamp so just like that then I'm also going to be taking the flower and I'm going to stamp this up in the same basic gray and I just love this color and we're going to stamp right about here, almost down, but not quite more to the right. I know I got it sideways. We're just giving it a gentle push. You don't want to push too much because it could smear the ink and make it uh, a smudge. So, and I probably should have pushed harder there, but I think I can fix it with my, when I'm drawing and with the color green. So I'll be okay. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and we are going to, we don't need this for a few more minutes. Now we're going to bring in our blending brush and we're going to get Pool Party ink pad. And we are just going to start in the center. We're going to dab this up and we're going to start in the center and we're going to work I like to dab it a little bit to see my pressure with my finger because I sometimes have a heavy hand. If you do, dab it a little bit here and see what kind of a pressure you have before you go and put it on your card. And then just lightly start in the center, lift your finger up and just keep working outward. And it may look like you're not doing anything on the outside of your card as you're going and really you are but you just can't tell so I like to kind of cover wherever my um, dots are kind of going get it up in here a little bit more there we go and it it does show it over here it just may not look it but it is there okay so we got that. Now we're going to get out our blending pens. Pool Party and Mossy Meadow Light.
little lighter. Well, I don't know. I might have just made a boo-boo, but we'll see. <laughs> I'll hide it if I have to. We'll figure it out. So anyways, now we're going to finish the card. So now we're going to take and we are going to attach the ribbon. But first we got to bring in our pool party piece. And we need some uh, adhesive here. Okay. Put this down. Just like that. Then I'm going to move my ribbon up a little higher on this one to maybe save my card from my mistake right there. <laughs> we will see if this will work. It'll cover up a lot of it. That's good. <laughs> so... We're going to just put this right here, put a little bit of adhesive on the back side and then snip it. And I'm going to look at it before I really stick that down to make sure I didn't get it crooked on the front. There we go. I guess that's good. So my ribbon's up a little higher. I had it down here, but I want it up higher for the purpose of this card. Okay, then we're going to bring in this piece and we're going to attach this to the Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to bring in a piece of another pool party and I'm going to attach this right here in the middle as a little knot hmm well it is what it is <laughs> okay. then we'll trim this down this ribbon is so beautiful I have to tell you, it's absolutely gorgeous. Mine is definitely up higher. I don't know if I like that. I think I'm just going to... i still got time. This hasn't really adhered hard. And I'm going to move my ribbon down. I don't like it that high after... Even trying to fix a mistake, it doesn't look right. <laughs> it's got to be right here. It's just where it's got to be. So, there we go. Put it where it's got to be. Let me make sure I didn't make it crooked, which I did. On this side. There we go. And now we'll put it back down. It's one thing about this uh, Super Sealed Plus Yes, it's very strong adhesive, but it's after it sits for a little bit. So, um, if you haven't, like, uh, what do I want to call it? Like, I didn't, I didn't push down real hard yet and all that. It still had time to come up, which is a good thing. All right, so now we're going to do some die cutting. We're going to bring out this little yellow, the Daffodil Delight. We're going to set these off to the side. We're going to bring in our um, mini, the mini, the mini guy, little guy. And we got platform one, platform two, and we got the embossing machine. And then we've got our two dies here. And I'm going to put these over top of it, and I'm going to crank it through. Just like that. Okay. I'm going to cut these off. Oops, and I almost forgot. I put this all away, and I still have to cut out one more thing. i got to get my scrap piece. Of Whisper White. Now you guys will have a piece already in your little kit and you're going to take the little tag, 
punch that's in your kit and we're going to cut this out. Now we die cutted everything. Okay. Okay. So we have this. I'm bringing my scrap paper again. We got this. I got the word love. And I'm going to open up. And I'm stamping that in the basic gray. And hopefully I got this fairly. Yeah, I didn't do too bad. So we'll put that off to the side. Put that away. Then we're going to bring in our butterflies. And I took a black Stampin' Write marker. I took the brush end and I colored these in. Okay. So there we go. Just gave it a little bit of something. And now we'll bring our card back in. And I'm going to take some Stampin' Dimensionals here. Uh, no, I think I'm going to use minis. <laughs> Put a, about four little minis on this, up on the wings and down on the body here. <laughs> Do the same thing on this one. We'll put a couple minis. <laughs> My little guy is crying here. I'm bringing in this one a little bit. Oh. I'll put this one right here. Just like that. this one right here just like that and then what I did I'll do all the fine tuning stuff we're gonna take this um, a piece and I'm gonna take some linen thread that I have right here And just take a you know fairly long piece, not so you know you're gonna fiddle with it. I gave you guys quite a little bit. We're gonna run this through here. Then you're gonna take it and you're gonna scoop it up underneath here. Now before you tie your knot or do anything with it, well I got the wrong end scooped under. Make sure you put the right side under. <laughs> It's on the right side, depending on how you scoop it through. Put this about where you want, like pull this up like this and kind of have an idea about where you want it to be. I want it to go right there. So I'm going to take and flip it over, put some adhesive on it. This is the easiest way I found to do this. Okay, figure out where you want it and then put it down. Now it's there. Now you have more control with your hands to put this because you put that down just like that. Then I am going to pull this. I'm going to get my knot so it's up here on top like that. Okay. And I'm going to double knot it. I just think it gives me more control again when I'm making the bow. So now I have this double knot. And now I'm going to make this bow. I did it like a shoe. I make it big. Then I keep shrinking it down. And then I just, this is just how I do it. Until I get it where I like it. This one's a little big. And then I give it like a little tug. And then I come in, and you can leave these longer if you want. They do look very cute long. I think I'll leave this one a little long. 
So then we have this here. So it looks like that. Okay. And now we're going to go in and I like to take a, a fine tip. This is a fine tip pen. Stampin' Up! doesn't sell them anymore. So um, they used to for journaling, but they don't. And I am just going to dab just some lines, go kind of in a circle and out like that. I get up here and I just kind of make little loops like this. Give them a little dot on the end for little antennas. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. Come down, go around, out. And then I just, I did this one actually upside down because <laughs> it was easier for me to see. And I did one antler and I did the other one. And I did it kind of so it was like sideways. You don't have to add them on there. It looks cute without them, but that is what I did. And then I did two other things. I took some Wink Estella and I added it to all, I think that one's the one that's gone. I don't know why I keep forgetting to throw that one away. And I'm just adding Wink Estella to all this, all these little flowers because it makes it so pretty it's coming out if I I squeeze too much and then I have too much winka there we go so I try to be gentle I'm still all these years of stamping up having it and I'm still I still have issues with it and then I'm I'm going to bring in some gems here because we have to have our little rhinestones on this card. I put one here and I put one right here and then I put another one down here near the green. I'm going to put it on this side this time. Yeah. Okay. And that is card number four. For our online class and I hope you guys liked it and enjoyed this uh, series and I hope you guys will join my next month online class. Thanks everybody. Bye bye.